Hello friends, welcome to Unity 3D Teacher Tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to see score system. This is a continuous video series of balloon tap game. So in this video, we are going to see score system which contain high score and current score how to use in our project. So let's begin. So let's start. This is a script called high score. Or you can have scoring system. Open the script and add using Unity Engine.ui. In order to use the UI system, we are going to use using Unity Engine.ui namespace and create a public variable. Text feed text type high score UI and then current score UI. So we are going to gra grab that two high score UA and current score UA in the script. Attach the script to a main camera and then save the script. Now it will reflect in editor. I am sorry, there is some bug. Okay, it's semicolon. Okay, now it's fine. Yeah, now you can be able to drag current score and high score. That's it. So we are going to apply the high score and current score to this both UA after the game is over. So I'm just make high score dot text equal to double presses end up with semicolon and then current score dot text equal to double phrases in the with semicolon so it will leave like a blank empty it won't print anything so we go, go to player control script in the game scene the player control which hold by balloon so this is a gameplay so it will fall it will hit the platform and show the score this is the concept so we are going to get the data from the from the on mouse down since on mouse down is contain only a balloon there is no problem it won't reflect on any other system so we are going to get data from that so after it's got collision on bottom of or top, it's going to reflect over here at the bottom. So either it's uh, either it's bot or top, it will come to start coroutine and then come for this position. So I am having play prefabs dot get int since it is integer using I am using set int to set the current score play prefabs is nothing but storing the data locally in your device so I am using play prefabs and then get the score variable over the play prefabs and then set the value so go to scoring system script and then just Fetch that play prefabs here. Get string. I'm sorry, it's get int. And then use the same name which you have applied over there. That's it. That's it. So now play and see what what is the situation we are getting. So tap 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 and then it's out if you see the score has been updated the current score has been updated it's 3 tap tap and then it's moved so the score is 4 so this is the basic system we are done for local score now we are going to get the high score 
so in order to get the i score what we are going to do is we are we are going to create one more variable so that's let's play one more time and show you okay so this is the local score I mean the current score for every play so we are going to create one if statement to check the condition Player prefabs dot get int of current save data is greater than before that just is greater than player prefabs of get int of you can name any name which you like to have I have I score well I score well and then here we are going to perform the operation if the condition satisfied it will come inside and perform the operation so this is this, this is it so let's print and see what is the condition we are getting for i I score save data it will it should be written zero because we haven't declared anywhere any integer values so it should be zero let's see hit play In the debug, we got zero because we haven't done anything. So, we are going to apply the condition now. So, if it's greater than we want to make set the I score value here and then player prefabs of kit current score data because every game which going to store in current save data we are going to get from there and check the condition and save if if the condition perform the action so this is it so let's create local variable name int i score and then just copy and assign to the i score prefabs i'm sorry it won't work like this because we can be able to fetch the data from there using get not set 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 is for applying get is for fetching so make sure that you are using a right queue so I just switched using play prefabs dot get int i score data value and then apply the i score value for the UA and then we do the same for current score create one variable called in current score val and then get that name and then just cut that prefabs and then apply to that variable and then perform the variable to the text so this is it so let's check either it's updating or not in the gameplay so i think i forget one thing so if the condition I haven't perform, performed, we need to do one more condition for I score well because since since because it will return zero, so I'm going to have a statement. 
a will statement which are going to place what is the data you can have in I score well. I score well written default zero. So we are just over overwriting the value which we have already in I score. Play prefects. So let's play the game and see the changes. Maximize it and then hit play. If you see the I score is already 3. Hit play. So it's 2. No, it's not greater than 3. So let's try one more time. It's 3, 3. So it's new equal. Don't come inside the condition. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. It will come inside the condition now. So let's see. So that we get out from here. Okay. Okay. Now the current score is 14 and then I score also 14. So this is in I. Even if we play it more time, the I score won't delete. It will store locally and fetch from the system. So this is it. You can store your current. You can store, uh, store your high score and show to the user anytime using the system. So in the next tutorial, we are going to see the background system. You can able to select the background, and you can able to apply the same background for every scenes from the option menu you are going to get the data so let's see how to do that in next video thanks for watching